Well, I thought I'd take a minute to uh, show what's going on in the shop right now. This is just uh, some projects I'm working on. Let's flip around. On a uh, hatch cover for a house. It goes in kind of, it, it's replacing uh, in an old house uh, in downtown Murfreesboro where they used to have two double doors that came up. And so I made, instead of having those two wooden double doors which are all rotted out, I created a new frame uh, out of 16 gauge metal, put a little uh, substrate under here, a little mother frame, another frame of uh, just 14 gauge, uh, trying to keep it light as I can. Lid weighs about 78 pounds. Made the frame out of three, three by three quarter angle because I just want and these, these um, their whole size is irregular. So I had to do some spacer blocks for some of the anchor points. So this is basically you're going to sit down on a bed of silicone, keep it waterproof, water out of there, and then this will bolt in. These little tabs will bolt into the concrete wall. It's really old concrete. I tried to get down far enough where hopefully it'll bite into some good concrete. I'm actually going to go in here and what I'm working on today is got some uh, struts. And these, these uh, struts are going to go on the lid. And so it's a little, little, little bit of a learning curve here on how, where to put them and how to place them. But I'm going to make a mount for those to go right on that three inch and then it'll attach. My plan is to attach it up here to this, which should be fine. Uh, it's, this is basically going to be meant to open from the inside. So I'll have to put a couple of locking mechanisms so the outside it can't be just lifted up. But when the homeowner is down in the basement and they want to come out and access this, they'll just come in and, and they'll pull a lock pin and then just push this up to, to get them out. So... That's one, one job going on. I just did a really simple hinge on it. Um, I, I, instead of using two bolts, I just used this long rod with a bit of pin there. If they ever want to take the lid off, it's just going to be simple as pulling this long rod out. I did put a support uh, a support piece here. But that way, it's, if they ever want to take it off, it's easy to take off, get completely out of the way by just pulling the cotter, the little pin that will go here. And the rod can't go the rod can't go that direction because of the, some steps, but they can come over here and should be able to just pull that whole pin all the way out and lift it off. Put some added supports here, um, and I'll have all this sandblast and powder coated, but that gives some rigidity to that lid. Again, that's just made out of uh, uh, 16 gauge. I actually bent this radius on my workbench. I, I just clamped it down. I didn't do any videos of it. I just clamped it down. I used a lot of clamps and I literally hand bent that radius on there. It actually came out pretty nice. I was happy with the way, it, instead of like on, I've got a press, I got a little break over there, but it makes a nice, sharp, it makes a sharp edge, but this was too big for that. And instead of having somebody else do it in a shop outside, I just thought, well, I'll just break them myself. And I was able to do it. I couldn't do anything thicker than 16 gauge though. And then, my next project, I get into a little bit of everything. Well, I've got multiple projects going on. I just went because I've got other railings to make, but I went and picked these up today because these are these are some trash can containers that are, I've got to weld up. They've got a variety of, you can see the cracks. You can see where they've been welded, somebody welded before and they've cracked again. And I mean, it's the nature of these things. They, these things are going go downtown Nashville and the problem is they get snatched up by the wind it's going to crack it's just it's it's super heavy uh gauge aluminum you know it's all nice stuff but it's just you can see they've been broken multiple times and the, whoever did it did a decent job on the welding it's not the weld it's not the problem but i'm seeing just about where where the crack is is where it was cracked before so but when they fall over that's they're, they're pretty heavy so when they fall over they they just snap and there's nothing you really do about it so i've got seven of these to weld up uh you can see how that one's even got a how that one even kind of got dented which i'm surprised it didn't break it down there's another one that's dented down but they take a beating i'm sure down there in downtown nashville but that's another little project i've also got to do some I've got lots of things going on it's fall i've got the woodshed is oh two-thirds full and i've got some more I got some more wood to do down there. I've got a split. These are telephone poles. These are telephone poles right in there. I can't find it. Telephone poles are that pile. And I got a pile of logs right there. And then I've got some big rounds right there. And those have all got to be split up. So 
that's another another job in process that I've got to get done for around here because it's going to be winter time before long and we'll be running heaters. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on in the shop. Gonna have some. I'm gonna forge some railings uh, for a customer. I got a, a, a forged railing, and I got a couple of fabricated railings, so it'll be pretty nice. Well, I'm loving the weather change. It gives me a lot more energy because the heat. Uh, well, you know, it's just hot in July and August, like it is every year. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Take care.